everyone in today's video I'm going to share with you how I did a mini kitchen makeover by adding some open shelving in my kitchen I'm gonna share with you how I did it and the cost and also how I decorated it for this fall since we're still in the fall autumn season so I hope you're ready for all of that let's get to it to start off our mini kitchen makeover we are removing our kitchen cabinets where we want to have the open shelving and this particular cabinet gave us a lot of issues just because the screw was on a stud so it did not want to come off and we had to really loosen it up so that it could get removed. Once the cabinets were removed, it did peel off a lot of paint around the edges of the cabinet. So you can see in some spots the sheetrock and of course some of the holes where the cabinets were screwed into the wall. To make everything level with the areas that were peeled, I am taking a Dollar Tree sanding block and just sanding around the areas where it did peel so that way it's all smooth. And then I'm going to take some Dollar Tree um, spackle or um, caulk and spatuling it into the holes of where the screws were existing from the cabinets. So once everything was dry, I gave this area a coat of paint. Luckily, I had some paint left over from when we painted the house. And this color, it is Cascade Beige. It's the Home Depot brand. For the shelf brackets, I went with these white ones. They're from Home Depot. And I just really liked how farmhousey they looked. And they were the least expensive. They were about $5.48 so I was able to get eight of them for about $45. I purchased four of these white Rubbermaid laminate wooden shelves and what I am going to do to attach the bracket onto this shelf is use these screws that already come with the brackets so it comes with two small screws to go in through the wood and then two longer ones to go through the wall and I am going to be using anchors on the top portion of the top holes of the brackets that way um, if I should have anything heavy it will be able to hold the weight the brackets together in a pair are able to hold up to a hundred so because I know that I'm not going to be drilling into a stud, I have to use these anchors in order to hold that weight. These shelves are going to have decorations and some are going to actually house our cups and plates and stuff like that so that's what I've got going on here what I did is I prepped each of the remaining shelves with the same spacing as the one I just put up so that way they all align um, the brackets align on the same side um, and the same width on the board I do plan on adding backsplash so I made sure that the first shelf and set of brackets were set 22 inches high so that way it barely misses it and doesn't interfere with the backsplash and the second shelf is only 12 inches above the first shelf. Now the real fun starts for me and this is decorating these shelves. So I had gone to an antique store and a couple thrift stores and scored some new pieces and I also brought in some of the pieces I already had that I wasn't using anywhere. So I played around with a lot of the decorative items and I took off and put back. That's just my style until I have the feeling that it is done and that I like it and I can walk away happy with how it looks.
My favorite antique find was this copper teapot. I love this thing and it was only $18, just a little more than what I normally like to spend, but I couldn't find anything else so when I found this I had to take it. All of the white glass items I got them at the thrift store and they vary from prices from 50 cents to about $1.50. Let me know in the comments and give me a thumbs up if you like to antique and thrift shop. If you watched my fall hutch decorate with me video, you might have seen this scale on the hutch. I ended up taking this scale and replacing that space with something else over on the hutch but I decided that I wanted the scale over on the shelf side, so I incorporated it here. My favorite thrift store find were these candlesticks. There were $2 for each one of them. The two that looked more on the golden brass side, I love the look that they give. It just looks very vintage and I love that. And the brown one was a little bit longer and I decided that I wanted to use it as a cake holder type of stand. So I just added a plate which I purchased for 50 cents at the thrift store and just added to the top. I could have cut a lot of the footage where I'm messing around with different pieces, taking them off and putting them back, but I decided that I wanted to keep it to show you kind of in real life what goes on as I'm decorating when this happens a lot and it takes me a while to finally get it just right. To see any antique or thrifted items and just projects that I'm working on or behind the scenes of things that I might be uploading here on YouTube, you can see in real time over at my Instagram account, which is at Consider It All Joy. Now I'm going to be working on the opposite side and on these shelves I'm going to be adding cups, bowls, and um, plates that we're actually going to be used for us to eat off of and drink off of so I'm styling to just make everything feel balanced with the other side of the shelves I felt that with the decor on the other side it made it a bit on the heavy side so I need to make sure I add just enough items to make it seem balanced I did end up using some pumpkins and some fallish sprigs just to give some fall colors to this side of the shelves. I felt that the other side just was very fallish and so I just wanted to balance the color on both sides of the shelves.
much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the red button down below. That way you continue to get more DIYs, home decor, and frugal homemaking content from me. And you'll become part of the Concerned All Joy community. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.